Hey you guys, Ari here and today I'm going to be doing a super easy tutorial on how to define your lips and give them a nice shape. So if you're interested, please keep watching. Alright y'all, so I have to say this, honey. <laughs> this lens that I bought is so microscopic. Okay, like you can see every fine hair on my skin, you guys. I promise I touched up and shaved. I grow a lot of hair, but I promise you guys, okay, I went over my lip. But anyway, <laughs> you guys, you're going to be basically contouring your lip. Uh, this is a contour stick that I will put in the description box. And basically, this is going to help create the shape. And it just glides on smoother than a pencil would, and it's going to stick. I'm sorry you guys if it gets out of focus. This is like my first time using this lens. So I was trying to, as you can see, like make sure I was in focus for you guys. Um, if the line isn't perfect, it doesn't matter because you're gonna cover it up with powder. I use the Laura Mercier powder um, in the color Honey, which I also use under my eyes to go ahead and set my lips. All right, y'all, so when we put this powder on our lips, it does two things. And I'm using the Laura Mercier Powder and Honey that I also use under my eyes. So what this is gonna do is make sure that your concealer on your lips stays in place and it creates that nice shape. That's the first thing because you don't want your contour to be all movable and you know, getting out of line, getting out of place, looking crazy on your face, right? The second thing this is gonna do is help your lipstick and your lip gloss stay on your lips longer. All right, so now I'm showing you guys how I line my lips. And this is where you're gonna definitely have more precision. I um, mean, as you can just see from me putting the powder on top of the contour, there's much more shape and definition to my lips already than when my lips were just a blank canvas, right? So basically, I'm just lining my lips. I do overdraw just a tad bit, um, and I'll turn my pencil to the side while I'm doing this, just to give me kind of like that heart shape. And as you're filling in your lips, you can feel like, okay, like this is matte. Like, so you know, like your lipstick is going to stick. Of course, go over your lips as much as you like. Um, I tend to. <laughs> go over my lips a lot and um, that part is definitely important filling in that cupid bow area right there I try to create one because I don't really have one um, if you guys don't know which you probably don't know unless you're like my friend or follow me <laughs> on Instagram I don't even know if I put it on Instagram but anyway um, I did get my lips done last year and I'll be uploading a video on that but um, it still didn't give me the definition that I want so this is why I tend to um, overdraw my lips still a little bit more and create that cupid's bow. And definitely just fill in that liner and I'll put it in the description box for you guys, the one that I used. All right, you guys, so I'm just putting on a lipstick. Of course, put whatever you want on. Definitely a lighter color in the middle will make your lips look a little bit more plump. Now I'm just adding a gloss and when I tell you guys, putting this powder in this contour really helps the gloss stay in place. You won't have gloss all on your teeth later or nothing like that. Um, when doing this, you can use, you know, different colors, but definitely when you use neutral colors, browns, things closer to your lips, like it really helps your lips look way more fully, you guys. So this is just an easy contour video for the lips. Of course you can do all that stuff in the middle, but you guys, it's really no point of drawing all them lines in the middle of your lips, I'm telling you. Do this, you guys. I'm sure it will help you create more different definition. <laughs> I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.